are resumed with the great Bishop S.E. Johnson International Radio Network. Now, the broadcast is originating from the great temple of the General Assembly of the Churches of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith, located here in downtown Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, at 22nd and Sandy Street. Bishop S.E. Johnson, founder, pastor, and general of the city. I never don't forget to keep tuned every evening and be well informed about the Word of God by Bishop S.E. Johnson. And don't forget he's heard every evening, Monday through Saturday evening, in Washington, D.C. area. Monday through Saturday evening over WSC 7, 8 p.m. On Sunday morning in the same area, 9 or 10 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time over WCIK 740 on radio dial in the Washington, D.C. area. And he's heard in the headquarters area in Philadelphia every evening, uh, 7, 8 p.m. of our local headquarters station, WBAS of Philadelphia. And don't forget to keep to then after the broadcast is over, then send the churches of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our church location in Washington, D.C. is at 1230 C Street Northeast, Philadelphia, at the 22nd Penny Street here in downtown Philadelphia. And keep to and hear from John Reveal, the mission of the Word of God directly from the church. Now, he'll be heard on Monday, the Lord willing, on our church farm in the great outdoor service. Come on out. Be well informed about the word of God on our church farm, Monday the Lord willing, a great sermon preaching fully by Bishop S. John. The service will start shortly around 12 noon. Come out early tomorrow and spend the day with us on our church farm, the Lord willing, in Martin, New Jersey, on Monday. And come out all day Sunday. The morning broadcast at 9 o'clock. Now, if you don't like to come out too early, and tune in and come out for the morning worship at 11 o'clock Sunday morning and come out again for the uh, evening worship at 7 p.m. of the General Assembly here in downtown Philadelphia. The presenting now on another great evening of our General Convention, the Honorable Bishop S. John, the world's foremost minister, Bible analyst, and a part of the Honorable Bible, the Word of God. Spirit. 
Jesus said he would build his church. 16th chapter of Matthew. Somebody asked me, Are all these people wrong? You know the devil won't let you look at the Bible. Makes you look at men. Look at men. Everyone different. Everyone different. And they are so deceived and so blind. Now, if yeah, come to the natural and men would differ, there would be a battle in the earth. That is, that one man said 12 ounces was a pound, another said 13 ounces a pound, another said 15 a pound, and another said 17. None of them right, and they wouldn't stand for that. The city wouldn't stand for that. The city has a weight and measure bureau. And those men travel around through the city whenever they feel like walking anybody's store. Anybody. They have a weight that they carry is that is correct. It's one pound. And they'll walk right in the store and won't even say good morning. Ready for something. Walk in and test your scales. And if those scales are not right, yeah, man. you you know. Then they put a stick on that they're not correct, and they'll give you ten days in order to have those scales fixed. They come back and they're not out they go. Every scale in town must give 16 ounces to a pound. You know that's true. Nothing else you can use in order to tell you how much the meat weighed but stayed. Nothing else to you. Then everybody will line up with that, everybody. Everybody will line up with it and want to look at the scales. And when the scales talk, they say, Amen. Amen. Satisfied. Hypocrite. Hypocrite, you are satisfied. But when you come to the Word of God, when the Word of God talks, you're not satisfied. You'll step aside and practice something absolutely contrary to the Word of God and fight when we bring the Word to you. You're not here. You just and and profess to be religious. God fearing. You're a liar. You don't fear God. You're a liar. That's what you are. I uh, say he don't do nothing but call me. Well, that's all right. You do right, I won't have to call you no more. Amen. Them fellas hadn't been hypocritic, 
Jesus wouldn't have called him hypocrite. Call him. Change. That's what you've done. Change. And you're supposed to be what you wouldn't be if somebody told you. When they come in, I know I preach the truth about everything. As some hypocrites, no doubt, sitting right here now, wouldn't, o- wouldn't obey one word of what I said. But I'll go on to some church. Some church. Amen. Now, if you're honest, just like you pick what the stale said, without the shadow of a doubt, you pick what the Bible says. But when they hear the Bible, those hypocrites get so mad. Well, my secretary was telling me today that Somebody called up the day. He's a liar. He's a liar. And so mad that it sounded like they were crying. <laughs> Word got him. Yeah. Right. I'm no liar. No. Amen. Amen. No. Amen. I tell the truth about everything. Right. Amen. 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 I'm not a liar. There's a preacher that tells the truth about everything and then anybody that are listening in condemn what I say. Look like everybody ought to want to obey this. No, they don't. Hypocrite. So I'm supposed to call you one. May Jesus call him hypocrite. That's right. Didn't it? Yes, it did. Why? Why are you changing? And there's some people in here tonight that are not baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. They don't take what the Bible says, they take what the scale says. Amen. I was in uh, my store once and uh, a lady come in and bought a piece of meat, uh, wanted a piece of meat. And I was standing over in the corner, and the, the, the clerk of the butcher cut the meat and it threw it up on the scale and looked at it, and she was maybe looking somewhere else, and he took it off and held it up and told her it was $4 and something. And uh, it looked awful small to me to be $4. It was my show, but it certainly looked small to me. And when he sold us four dollars and something, she shook her head. She wasn't looking when he weighed. And she didn't want to tell him to weigh it again. What he should have done was to let the meat stay on the scale until the lady come to herself and looked up and seen what it weighed. But he didn't do it. And he was still holding it and she shook her head, so it came to me, why don't he put it on the scale? I didn't want to tell him, but I was discerning that she didn't believe that little piece of meat come to no $4 and something. While I was thinking, he looked like he hurt me, and he threw it on the scale. And then he threw it on the scale, and immediately she looked, and she said, all right. <laughs> Amen. Immediately. She said, all right, wrap it up. She took it. Now, we got you here. There's certain, uh, well, no use saying certain, you just don't believe the Bible, period. Because if you believe the scale has given you one pound, when it says the meat weighs five pounds, you'll believe that. What I mean by that, you'll believe all that the scale says. 
Is that the truth? That's right. You believe all the scales say, and we go with a seven or eight pound, that that's a little heavy, but uh, I can make two rolls out of that. I got freezer. I'll take it. Huh? Won't you? You know, I like to be hypocrite. You'll take what the scale says, and the scale says five and three quarter pounds, all right. Five and a quarter pounds, all right. Five and twelve ounces, all right. Won't you? That's right. No argument. Whatever the scale says, you say, all right. Why don't you say all right to whatever the Bible says? Huh? Huh? You hear me? The reason you don't say amen and all right to what the Bible says, because you are a first class hypocrite. You've changed it. All of these churches that are in the world are nothing but a bunch of hypocrites. All of it. I say all of it. Bring the word to them, if you please. And when you bring the word to them, them hypocrites building a church. And you stand up there holding a brick in one hand and a trial of mortar in the other and tell him he's got to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and that hypocrite will stand up there and start to fight him, building a church. Huh? Yeah. Holding a trowel in one hand, full of mortar and a brick in the other, fixing a lady brick, and that hypocrite will hold it in his hand and start to fight him. Yes. You know you'll do it. Yeah. Amen. But let me tell you, hypocrite and hypocrite, <laughs> hell is waiting for you. Yeah. Because Jesus said, He that believeth not yeah. shall be damned. Yeah. Now, you believe the scale from a half a pound, a quarter of a pound. Sometimes they say, Give me a quarter pound, uh, a boy and a ham. Put it on there and pour a pound, all right, thank you, wrap it up. And right on up to much as they will weight. I'm trying to get a ham weigh 18 pounds. All right, we've got a big dinner coming off. We've got to have it. I don't know where that's in that. Better give me another one. Isn't that true? Whatever the scale says, you will take it. But this hypocritical world that is hell bound won't take what the Bible says. Won't do it! Just won't take it. But I tell you what you're going to take. You're going to take hell. Don't want it, but you're going to take it. All right! In the 16th chapter of Matthew, yes. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, yes. he asked his disciples, saying, He asked his disciples, saying, I know you've heard him talking. You've heard men talking around here. I want to know what they've been saying. Not that he didn't know. He knew what he was going to say before he made the word. But it drew him out. Amen. Let the hypocrites talk. That's the reason I tell you, when you hear Bishop Johnson, if I'm wrong, come and condemn me and get $500,000. Now, it's no other preacher will talk like this. I wish you would. I'd have all the money nearly in the world. But I wouldn't do nothing but take my Bible and go from church to church and collect and tell you you're wrong in having three gods. Yeah. You believe there's a trinity. Yeah. And the word don't say nothing about no trinity. The word say, Here, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. Yeah. And all right, give me the money. Give me the check. Huh? That's right. And I go to another church and where they don't wash feet. Yeah. Right. And I'd, I'd get 500,000 there. Yeah. Huh? That's right. Amen, because Jesus said, if I've been your Lord and Master, 
have washed your feet, ye ought also wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you should do as I have done to you. Huh? That's right. I have done to you. I've been your Lord and you call me Lord and Master, and so I am. That's right. If I've been your Lord and Master, I wash your feet. Ye ought also to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you should do as I have done to you. That's right. Uh, we got somebody here tonight. I'm persuaded. Don't believe in washing feet. And I get 500,000 back. You don't find nobody that's soft like I talk. If you do, tell me. Thank God I want to find you. Because I, I, I need money. Not for myself, but for the work of the Lord. I don't, I don't beg for it. I don't get it dishonest. I like to get it lawful. And if the false prophet tell me if you stop my mouth, I'll, get, I'll give you $500,000, that'll be lawful. Huh? Right. I got to buy a lot of properties now. Bills are coming in. My radio bill this month is about 19000 And more than that, because behind this bill come other radio bills. And my line charge goes over a thousand dollars a month just my line to get to, to some of my stations. That's a thousand. I, I'm going over twenty thousand dollars for this month. Mm -hmm. Thirty days run around and no use talking about the others. Oh, so I can use money. We've got to buy properties. And trust me, the folks want churches and I want somewhere too so that they can come and sit down and hear me by tape recording. And then a pool there, so they can go there any time and be baptized. Oh, I can use them. That's right. But I tell you what to tell the preacher. Say, are you right? Yes, I'm right. Say, well, will you put up all you got? You may not have five hundred thousand, but say, will you give Bishop Johnson all you have? If he can condemn one thing you're preaching, you see how much he'll put up. He don't believe what he's preaching. Get me a customer tomorrow, will you? Who will get me a customer? Or maybe I've got one in here. Raise your hand. I'll stop your lying mouth. You don't believe what you're preaching. I can ask the country. Not a hand go up there. Are you a preacher? Yes, I am. I said, well, will you give me all you possess? If I can condemn one thing you preach, <laughs> can you, will you start around trying to find me some customers? Will you? I'm going to show you up. There are many of them walking around with the Bible under his arm, and they've been preaching so many years. But give me all you got. Don't make any of You got it? I'll get a pick a push car. <laughs> Oh, really God, we can use food cards. <laughs> huh? Amen. Got me a shovel. I'll pick your shovel. <laughs> Amen. Whatever you got, I'll take it. I won't say I don't want it. I can tell it. Amen. Not a rum and sugar. <laughs> they all are liars. All of them. I don't care who they are. When you fail to line up with this thing I'm preaching, then you're alive. They'll take what the scales say, won't they? That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. They'll take what the parking meter say. That's right. That thing drops over their own red. I don't care who they're talking to. Wait a minute. Just let me run out there. That thing is gone. Let me run out there and put in a nickel. He'll slip that nigga in, and once you come back there lawfully, then he's all right. That's right. Isn't that right? That's right. Well, I got enough to beat you with, you hypocrite. I've got a plenty to beat you with. That's right. Huh? That's right. Then another thing, they don't all speak the same thing. No, they don't. 
They speak anything they think. Men. I said men. That's right. Will speak anything they think. Then push it off on food. So many folk don't want to live right in no house. But they want to be credited with what they are not worthy of having. That is to be called a Christian. And they'll throw an old hell-bound false prophet 25 cents a week that got some cheap religion in it. 25 or 50 cents a week. And uh, they're living together, not mad, or got the second companion, a third. They got the television, uh, and they drink their beer, and they tell lies, and they do most anything, but they want to be credited with being a Christian. Huh? Don't you know I don't want nobody to call me a millionaire when I can't pay my rent and the constable is on me? <laughs> huh? Don't call me no millionaire. I know once there in Philadelphia, I used to have to pay my rent of paying twenty-five dollars a month, and I couldn't pay that by the month. I would have to go down to the office and pay so much every week. And, and, and where I had to go wasn't in a little alley and a little would-be real estate place. I had to go down here on Chestnut Street at the Pennsylvania building upstairs in that big office and pay my rent. And when I'd walk in, the man would say, good morning, doctor. Well, I didn't want that. <laughs> Calling me doctor. Yeah, I pay that cat six dollars and a quarter every week. And he's calling me doctor. I wanted him to hurry up and give me a receipt for my six dollars and a quarter and let me get out of there. That means about nice state doctor, isn't it? <laughs> hey man, I want him to give me my receipt. And he would detain me there talking, calling me doctor. If I'd have been riding in a Cadillac with a chauffeur and could reach and get a checkbook and throw it up there and let him uh, make a check out and I sign it, well, then it wouldn't have sound so bad. <laughs> Amen. But I had to no doubt walk down there. <laughs> Amen. And I certainly wasn't dressed like no doctor. I'll tell you that. A little sunburnt straw hat on. <laughs> huh? Amen. I didn't want to be credited with that. He just said, good morning. That would have suited me. And rolled out and let me go. <laughs> Doctor. Hey, man, I didn't want it. And you living like the devil and you know you are. And don't believe the word of God and want to be credited with something. Praise God that you're not worthy of. <laughs> Huh? That's right. Not worthy. That's right. But want to be credited with it. All right, let's go because my time is getting away. But I want, I'm going to make it plain. When you get up and walk out of this building tonight, or when you turn from that radio tonight, whether you're in Africa or wherever you are, you're going to remember as you turn, you are nothing but a hypocrite. That's right. Huh? That's right. Bible said when the gospel was preached on the day of Pentecost mm -hmm. that they were pricked mm -hmm. in the heart. Said unto Peter. Cried out to Peter and to the rest of the apostles. Men and brethren. Men and brethren. What shall we do? What shall we do? Then Peter said unto them. Then Peter said unto them. Repent. Repent. And be baptized. And be baptized. Every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sin. Yes. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. How many times I've told you to do that? Huh? How many times? All right. For the promise is unto you. Yes. And to your children. Yes. And to all that are afar off. Yes. Even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Yes. And with many other words that he testifies. And exhort, saying, What? Save yourselves from this untoward generation. Yes. Then they that gladly received his word went home. Were baptized. They didn't get them go home. Then and, they that gladly and, received and his said, word. We are Christians. I believe the Lord. I love the Lord. 
Tell him a lie. I love the Lord. And nobody, most anybody you run across, that profess some kind of religion, you love the Lord? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amen. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. That right? Well, oh, I got somebody in my net. I feel it heavy. I got you. Yes, you love me. Now, what did the Bible say? And they that and they that glad to receive. Glad. Anybody here tonight is glad about it? They're going down in the water before they go out of here. They that glad received his word. Received his word. Were baptized. were baptized. Then they that glad to receive his word. Then they that glad received his word. Were baptized. Were baptized. Were. Were. Amen. Were baptized. That's right. Amen. I, when I went to Memphis, uh, Minister Alexander that is sitting here now, he had heard me over there. He was a Methodist preacher. And he had gladly received what I preached and laid for me. Come in there that day and told me that I heard it, I believe it, and the man got baptized the same night. That's what you do. Some people say, I hear you, I enjoy it so whatever. I wouldn't miss it. Have you been baptized? No, not yet. Huh? And you enjoy it? Enjoy it? Wouldn't miss it? Amen. That's the way you, you eat, you sit down and smell the food, and enjoy it, and don't partake of it, but you say, it's, mm, it's wonderful. Oh, it smells good. Huh? Is that the way you do it? Oh, you say, hand me the hot biscuit. Pass me the pork chop. Pass me the rice and the gravy, please. <laughs> Oh, you ain't going to get off of smelling it. You're going to go away from there accepting it. And praise God, your belly will be punched out. Mm -hmm. From what you accept, you're not going to get away. You're not fooling nobody because God opened my eyes. And my God, I see all of you. I see you. Oh, it's a God like God. God made Balaam see his. Yes, yes. He said, Far from the top of the rock, I see him. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's right. From the hills, I behold him. Yeah, yeah. Huh? That's right. I see you. You won't get away from here once you run across me. I'm going to grind you to power. Amen. All right. Then they that gladly received his word. Then they that gladly. Just glad about it. That's it. That's right. So let me have it. That's right. I'm ready for it. Amen. Didn't it say? Then they that gladly receive the word. Then they that gladly receive the word. Were baptized. Were baptized. And the same day they same were added day. to them. Added about to the church. Souls. Added to the church about 3,000 souls. And they that continued. Continued. Did fastly. Did fastly. In the apostles' doctrine. Oh. <clears throat> then where all this stuff comes from? This is not the stuff they're preaching in the world today is not possible doctrine. That's doctrine of devil. Right out of hell. And don't grunt. Don't you say nothing now if you don't make a fool out of yourself and a good fool, leave me alone. That's right. That's right. I don't care what you're studying and what you know. God to help your heart forever, you better leave me alone. Amen. I gotta set up on this thing. Hallelujah to God. I got it like the Bible says. Amen. Jesus said, He that believes on me as the, as the scripture has said. said. Didn't he say so? Yes, he did. As the scripture has said. What the scripture said to one, it says it to all. It says in 1 Corinthians 1 10, I beseech you. 
Brethren, 1 Corinthians 1 10. Now I beseech you, brethren. Now I beseech you, brethren. By the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. By the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That ye all speak the same thing. Huh? That ye all speak the all same thing. All speak. I'd like to get all the preachers together and kill them in one shot. <laughs> Pick up the difference and say, what are you? And he tell me. I say, what are you? And tell me. And you and tell me. And then I say, all of you speaking the and I read that. I say, all of you speaking the same thing? <laughs> I'd get a whole lot of $500,000, wouldn't I? Wouldn't I? Uh, God, I, I have you. I've got creation. I've got creation soon. All right, now I beseech you, brethren. This is the Holy Ghost talking. This isn't Johnson talking. This is the Holy Ghost saying, Now I beseech you, brethren. Now I beseech you, brethren. Yes. By the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm doing it by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That you all speak the same thing. You all speak the same thing. And that there be no division among you. And there be no division among you. But that ye be perfectly joined together. Perfectly joined together. In the same mind, in the same mind, and in the same judgment. Thank God I'd kill them all, wouldn't I? I got them killed now. Got all of them killed. I'd say to jump up here and one give me one name for his face, another give me another name. You know that ain't no wonder. You know they're not perfectly joined together, just a bunch of liars and hypocrites and money hunters. That's right. Honor seeker. That's right. Don't believe what the Bible said, but what it says in Matthew. Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi. Yes. He asked his disciples, saying, uh -huh. Whom do men say yes. that I the Son of Man is? Uh -huh. And they said, And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist. That yeah, makes good, won't you? <laughs> All right, sir. Some Elias. Some Elias. And others, Jeremiah. Uh, Jeremiah. Or one of the prophets. What had all of them done? Lying. Mm -hmm. All of them was lying. That's right. Wasn't it? That's right. Every one of them was lying. Because he wasn't Jeremiah. Wasn't Jeremiah. Wasn't John the Baptist. He wasn't John the Baptist. Huh? Wasn't Eli. Wasn't one of the prophets. He was the prophet. That's right. All right. What and is he, that? And he said, he saith unto them, uh -huh. But whom say ye that I am? I'm going to leave you here. I won't know what's in you. All right. And Simon Peter answered and said, Simon Peter was helped by the Spirit. Yes. Yeah. Thou art the Christ. Thou art God. The Son of the living God. You are God, and you're the Son of the living God. That's the truth. That's right. Huh? That's right. God and the Son of the living God. He was God before he was the Son of God. He always was God. That's right. Huh? As far as I can read back and what I've gleaned from what I read, he didn't have no beginning of days or end of life. That's right. But when we sin and come short of the glory of God, he needed a sacrifice and the blood of bulls and heifers and turtle doves and pigeons couldn't redeem us back to the holy state that we lost in the Garden of Eden. Mm -hmm. So then, there was nothing able to do it because everything was under the curse. Right. Here come God Almighty took a virgin that never knew a man and formed a body in her body, making something with blood so that it could be offered up on the cross and we would come back to the spirit through the shedding of the blood of that body. That's right. Yeah, man. So then he made a body and got in the body and then went to the cross and died and shed blood and by the shedding of the blood brought us back to the spirit. Then the foundation was laid. That's right. Eh? Amen. All right. And Jesus answered. Jesus and answered, answered and said unto him, That reason you had that put that body on. And that body was the son. And that each son of spirit that was in that body was the father of that body. And there was God and the Son of God standing up in that one body. Amen. All right. Read that. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Yes. Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona. Yes. For flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, uh -huh. but my Father which is in heaven. Somebody said, that shows it too. Because Jesus was down there on the earth, and his Father was in heaven. His Father was down there with him, and Father was in heaven too. That's right. 
Because his father was a spirit. That's right. And the spirit filled that body. Yes. And the spirit filled hell. That's right. And the spirit filled heaven. Ah! That's right. Don't contradict me. Just take what I say. Mm -hmm. You don't believe it, don't grunt. Mm -hmm. Save yourself from being embarrassed. That's right. Amen. All right. And I say also unto thee, I say also unto thee that thou art Peter. Thou art Peter. And upon this rock. And upon this rock. I will build my church. I'm going to build my church. And the gates of hell. And the gates of hell. Shall not prevail. Shall against not it. prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys. Yes. Of the kingdom of heaven. Uh -huh. and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Yes. Whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Now, when the gospel was preached by Peter, hear me good. On the day of Pentecost, there were twelve apostles there. They preached the gospel. Amen. They preached the gospel. Mm -hmm. And later, here come Paul. Hear me, Galatia. Mm -hmm. The apostle, he was made an apostle. But he didn't come different from what Peter preached. No. He come preaching the same thing. Yes, for he said the same. For he that wrought effectually. For he that wrought effectually. In Peter. In Peter. To the apostleship of the circumcision. To the apostleship of the circumcision. The same was mighty in me. Something different. No, no. What? The same was mighty in me. Why do these hypocrites differ? Why do they differ? What? But what? That's all you're doing.
All right. That's the truth about it. When they don't do it like the Bible said to it. When it's not done like the Bible said to it. Yeah, man. See, the devil won't let you consider the Bible. He lets you just go on and do something. Make you content with that. But when you don't do it like the Bible said to it, you've done it in vain. Are you listening to me? I say when you don't do it like the Bible said to it, you've done it in vain. Then it ceases to be his word. Yes, 
That's what I'm saying. You don't have to change the whole thing, you know. Hey? Hey, man. Don't have to change the whole thing, but when you're off that one thing and put in something that he didn't have in, the whole thing has been changed. Hey, that reason is said to you, give a warning after it comes from Genesis over to the Revelation that I testify to every man that is the word of the, of the prophet of, of this book. If any man shall add, shall add unto these things. If you see a man coming along with six fingers, everybody will watch right. and will nudge somebody up. <laughs> six fingers. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. What are you talking about? They didn't know it was coming. That man got six fingers. What? You go home talking about yeah. I saw a man say the six things. Somebody say I don't believe. Yes, I did. Um, I can add it. But they don't say nothing. You can add all to the words you want. And then you won't tell any lie, you won't say no. They no more sense than a dog with a fly toe in his shin. <laughs> I tell you folks, the devil that man has made us out of you through ignorance and through willing to be him. Now when it comes down to school, they rush the children out there. Want them to miss the grave, they don't want them to be left down, they want to see the report card, they want to know what they're doing in school. Don't they? Sometimes child haven't been good now. You don't you don't give that report card. Mother asked her. Say that where's that report card? Today is the day you should bring it. Yes. Didn't she get it? Yes. They would know she hadn't been doing that. Huh? Yes. She left down. The conduct has been very poor. Yes. Huh? Yes. And when she gets that report card and see what Sarah's been doing, yes. they were going to get it. Yes. Amen. Come to the natural, those hypocrites up to the next. Come down to salvation. Man, up to nothing. Somebody use his mouth and twist the word or don't bring no word at all. My God, they'll go out. Amen. But yet they, I, for I testify. <coughs> well, I testify. You can hear the testimony if you want to, or you can stop up your ears. But I'm going to testify anyhow. I'm going to still testify. Huh? Amen. We, we children, you know, used to stop up our ears to keep from hearing what the other child had to say. And we stopped up our ears one day and to keep from hearing him and he told us something mother said and we had our ears stopped. <laughs> and when we opened and took the fingers out of the head, he was too soft. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and we stopped him up. 
at the wrong time. Yes, sir. No. Uh, he should have <laughs> But he didn't know because of anyone in the cellars now. So Gary is like a while I had him blood. They said, hey, Charlotte said, Sherrod, come on. <laughs> and I had my ears blood. And didn't get that. <laughs> and consequently, I didn't go. <laughs> didn't go. That man called him a coke to your I had my ears blood. You can stop doing it. I thought I feel like preaching this thing more than ever before since I was born. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. One something yes. yes. John got on down there and ending up the thing and said, I, I'm going to warn you. Yes. Yes. Amen. I testify to every man. Everybody. It don't make any difference what kind of man he is. I'm telling you. Yes. Yes. That hears the words of the prophet of, of this book. book. If any man, if any man, shall add unto these things, shall add anything to these things, add anything. Yes. Can't add nothing. No. Huh? Amen. 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 There was a cat born once with two heads. Man got him and had him mounted, and he just went all over the country making money. There he has a cat born with two heads. Two heads. Had it that one head, it wouldn't even stop off. But it was something added. Something different. Therefore, he made money. Going around from town to town and city to city. Had a tent up. Then I understand out in the street, give me something if you want to hunt up. Had him so you had to go in there and had to pay it to dine to get it. Listen what the Bible says. For I testify, For I testify unto every man. Unto every man that heareth the that words heareth of the, the, word of the, the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, you can add to it if you want. God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. Yes. And if any man shall take away, and if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this book, take God, anything away from it, change. Make God, any change. Make any change whatsoever. God, God shall take away his part. See, when you add, you made a change. Yeah. When you take away, you made a change. Yeah. And God won't stand for that. Yeah. He said, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sin, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. <laughs> Leave it like that. You want to obey that? Obey. You don't leave it alone. If you take anything away I had in the past, you're going to hell. Your worship is in vain. They changed something. And when they changed it, Jesus condemned. Wouldn't stand for it. Told them, your worship is in vain. Are you hypocrites? When you mean it, you'll do it like the book says. When you don't mean it, you won't. Your land is loaded. They're calling up every day. They're raging now. They, I, they, I don't know what happened. They're raging now. They're writing letters. They won't sign name. And they're calling up and they're laying us out. And my, they're raging. Hypocrites, of course. Amen. But it won't be no better. Thank God I'll hit the head the next time. Yeah, yeah. You know, when I begin to pound on the head, yeah. something's going to weaken. Yeah. That's right. Amen. That's right. Huh? Peter said, 
Hussey <coughs> was bruised his head. Huh? Seated yeah. a woman. So then the word is being preached. <coughs> and the hypocrites crying out, but it's no better. Got to do like I said. Stop going to church. Don't go to nobody's church. Stay home. Die and go to hell free of charge. Because you're not going to change. Jesus said in vain. In vain. A whole lot of worship are going on. Huh? Thank God it doesn't amount to uh, uh, the price of a net hide in the summer. When, when a hide is cheap. You know how much you get for a net hide in the summertime when it's, it's, it's low in price. And all the worship in the world doesn't worth the price of a net hide in the summer before the frost falls. Uh, uh, that's the truth of it. In man! What did it say? Read it. In the 15th chapter of Matthew, mm -hmm. then came to Jesus. Scribes and Pharisees, which were of Jerusalem, saying, Yeah. Why did thy disciples transgress the position of the elders? How is it that your, your, your disciple is so different from anybody else? Well, his disciples are supposed to be. That's right. His disciples are supposed to be different. Why do thy disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. They don't wash their hands. They're around here eating without washing their hands. Look how the devil will make you strain out a gnat and swallow a camel. That's like the devil, you know, when he brings some religion, he's going to bring something that's just as far from anything and make you try it away over nothing. See your disciples around you eating, and I have been watching them. And they didn't wash their hands. Now the elder says, you can wash your hands. Uh -huh. But he answered and said unto them, but, Why do you also transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? By your tradition. For God commanded me. God said, Honor thy father and mother. Uh -huh. He that curses father or mother, yes. let him die to death. Yeah, let him be killed. But he says, But you change. Whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, uh -huh. it is a gift. It's a gift. By whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me. Uh -huh. And honor not his father or his mother. And don't do it. He shall be free. He'll be free. Thus have you made the commandment of God of none effect by your tradition. God said, Let him die to death. He that curses, he that curses father or mother, let him die to death. But they change. Amen. Amen. Say, well, it was an earthquake before he was born, make an excuse for him. He cursed his father and mother, but they make an excuse. Say, he, he, just before he was born, an earthquake, and mother got scared. That ain't what the Bible says. Hey? That isn't what the Bible says. The Bible says, let him die as the best. He. Let me get it different who he is. Let him die. Don't change it. Leave it like I said. That's what you got to do. You've got to leave the word like you can. Amen. And if you change anything about then it ceases to be his word. Then you worship. 
Is in man. Then he calls you a hypocrite. So we got the world full of hypocrites. Why? They change. Not like he said. They added something to it, and it ceased to be his word. All right. Thus have you made the commandment of God of none effect yes. by your position. Yes. You hypocrite. He was supposed to call them hypocrites. Mm -hmm. And you got a land full of them. Nevertheless, the gospel is here. Mm -hmm. In its food. Like it was in the days of the apostles. You have a privilege. You have the opportunity to accept it tonight if you want it. Or oh, you can leave it alone if you please. I ain't God, but everybody's got to walk here by the same rule. Because we're joined together with the same mind and the same judgment. Then when we line up with this, we'll all have the same thing that they had to have that bought a pound of meat and it was put on the scale. Everybody got a pound. Are you here? You here tonight that wants to be baptized? You here and want it? Stand on your feet, you can have it. As one, get her ready, sister. Everybody gonna obey this. Amen. Is there another? Is it another? If so, stand on your feet. Stand on your feet if you're here and want it. It's got to be done like the Bible says. Otherwise, your worship is in vain. Worship. Worship is in vain. Your worship is in vain. Go to church any time you want. Go for a day, three o'clock in the morning. Pray until nine, six hours. Thank God what the Bible says, he that turneth the way his ears, from hearing the law, as even his prayer, shall be abomination. In vain. And I can look into any church tonight and yell in there and say in vain. Okay, if the king of the earth is up there taking up the offering. Thank God, but it's in vain. Did you hear what I said? Yeah. In vain! Have you been baptized in water? In the name of Jesus Christ, no. I don't have the Holy Ghost, no. Never been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, no. In vain. Your worship is in vain. Only one remedy, one rule. That's for everybody. All right. Don't forget tomorrow night is communion and foot washing. 
Or we believe on him like the scriptures say. Amen. Now I want to say to you, bring in your weak wages. You know, the work of the Lord must continue. It can't cease. I certainly wouldn't want to be called a slacker. <clears throat> People are still repenting to me, saying that drew back and didn't do all they could do to walk the work of the Lord here. They feel guilty. You are guilty too. Amen. You're guilty, all right. Everyone that draw back is guilty. So you better be careful. Now, so much we can do. And it takes hundreds of thousands of dollars to do this. If you don't believe me, suppose you'll exchange with me the 1st of September until well, give me 30 days just to relax some of you take over and just feel it. Just feel the weight of it. Really? Just one, just oh, half a dozen of you can get together. So half a dozen of you can do better than me one. Just try. I was putting up a tent once down in Delaware and all the brothers was gone and everybody was gone and wasn't nobody there but Sister Green and I. And I had the tent up, you know, and the wind was against it and, and when I was holding it and it was something I wanted to do. I had it about as straight as I could and I didn't have nobody to call on but her. And I said, come here, Sister Green. And and uh, hold this until I run and do such and such a thing or whatever to be done. And she run willingly and she caught over to the pole and I let go. When I let go, she said, my God. <laughs> I had to run back there and get that thing. And it was going down. So it's too much weight for one of you, half a dozen of you, a dozen. So I, my mind will be free for the next 30 days. Amen. So I can be free. I need 30 days rest. I ought to have it. Long time. Just take over for 30 days. Then you come back and you won't envy me. No more. Amen. Amen. I have a great responsibility and I've got to look at everything. Now then I tell you what to do. What is throwing a week's pay or a month's pay? Or giving all you got to the work of the Lord. Is that too much for God? Amen. Everybody looking to me. Everybody. They want to check this. They come here and back. All the builders got to be taken care of. They have about a $20,000 radio bill this month. You know, $20,000, you don't just find that on every corner. 
$20,000 a month plus, 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 plus. Amen. You give it to me, you throw a dollar in, put the other back in your pocket, I see you. And then they finger over a $10 bill, a $20 bill, and find a one, and throw it in the basket and keep moving. I got to pay the bill. I don't tell you, come back, brother, and give me that 20. I don't say nothing to you. I leave it to you. But I got to look to heaven in order to keep things moving. I have to do it. You give what you want to give and you knock off. But when the bills come due, I've got to see to it that they all are paid. And we are not behind. If we are, I don't know. But all the bills that I pay, isn't that remarkable? We've got 50 odd radio stations, not one of them once a year has to done it. And all the bills all over the country, where we have, we have gotten paid up. And we can look everybody in the face. Amen. That's a small thing. I have sown to you spiritual things. Now, if you didn't reap it, that ain't my business. I told you. If you didn't reap it, I sowed it. And we have sown to you spiritual things. The Holy Ghost said, is it any great thing that we reap your corn? Huh? That's what the Bible said. Is it any great thing that we reap your corn? Did anybody go to baptize? Did anybody go to baptize? Somebody get ready and baptize. So it's a small thing for me to reap your condom. And when I reap your condom, you know what I do with it. It goes out for God's way. We got some heavy expense. We want to buy a church in Newport News. Things haven't had a real decent place. We got to buy in Macon, Georgia. We want to buy in St. Louis. We want to buy in Buffalo. And we want to buy, buy, buy. Amen. One thing that I'd like to stop forever, but I've got to keep doing. Just got to keep doing. And it takes the money. Thousands. Amen. Got to keep everything up so that you won't be ashamed. Amen. Amen. And I will build behind. I don't know it. And not because that we don't have the money to pay. It's because it's in the hand of somebody else and they fail to pay, but we pay our bill. Amen. So then, I'm telling you your duty to watch God's word. This is for God, not for me. It had a quick, long hint. There'll be something ever going on for God's glory. And it's the people of God, the people of God's responsibility. Because God is calling for your sacrifice. All right, but don't forget, we've got heavy bills this month. 
I have to check the banks, you know. Every month, well, more than every month, because we got bills coming daily. And I have one special secretary that looks after the bills, and she is a good one. She certainly will remind me. Amen. And one thing she'll do, she'll remind me of the bill. Because uh, you know, nobody wants to hear tell a bill. Huh? I'm dying when the electric bill first comes to take it and throw it up on the dresser. And I got plenty of time, and somebody say, you know, eight days ago, nine days ago, to say, you know, the tenth day. The last day, otherwise you're going to be have to pay a penalty. So that electric bill is due. Got to be paid. Don't you soon be in the dark. Won't hear the radio, can't run the washer, can't toast no more. Greg, you'll be in a mess. Huh? Got to pay. Can't get around it. So bear in mind, our bills must be paid. And even though she brings it to our attention and have stacks of them, I can sit down and sign 30 and 40 checks. 30 and 40, they run up into thousands. But I have to check this bank and check that bank and check the other and check this and sometimes I have to, many times I have to transfer money from one bank to another and make it up. But they're paid, thank God everyone. Rubs pretty close. Amen. Amen. That reason I'd like for you to try it so you can tell somebody else. You know the Bible says in the mouth of two or three witnesses. I'm just a witness. <laughs> and I'm tired of being just one witness. I'd like to have a couple more witnesses. And somebody ought to want to help me out. Now I wouldn't pray you, Bishop, but turn it over to me. Let another one tell when you get through, I'll say, and I'll witness. Then when you get to come back and say, now Bishop, you tell him and I'll come right behind you and then Adam Mills will be right behind me. <laughs> Two or three witnesses. Don't you get tired of hearing one witness all the time? Don't you? Not about this. <laughs> I'll say, you go ahead. You go ahead. We'll take your word for it. But I want you to want it to be like the Bible. Two or three witnesses. Nobody wants to witness. So since you don't want to witness, then do what I tell you. Any time you change your mind and say, I'll take over. Now, Bishop, you give your week's pay. All right. I give a week's pay, and what comes to me, I'll give it twice a month, continuous, over two, and I won't hypocrite. As you'll just fix the responsibility. Amen. Nobody wants it, and I don't blame you. That's right. Somebody said, it's not going to kill me, one man said. It's not going to kill me like it's a German bishop. But he's dead. That's bad. Bad to have a drawback spirit. You that seek to save his life or lose. Amen. All right. <coughs>